Hello, welcome to episode 39 of our Road Tech Career Playthrough, where we have started with Primitive Mechs. We've got currently four real useful mechs available, plus the Wasp. I have to take another look at this. I was thinking I might try and drop the engine size down and throw a bunch of uh, jump jets in, but I learned that the engine size is related to the number of jump jets, meaning you can't put like a engine core 80 in and still get seven jump jet slots. It actually drops this number down. Anyway, so we're gonna probably take those four mechs, plus a couple of our vehicles, maybe our brand new warrior and our striker, maybe the sand devil, we'll see. Possibly the fin rear. Uh, out on a little excursion for this blackout mission for the Merrick uh, faction, try and get some uh, get some reputation back with them. They we are on our way to disliked. Uh, we'll probably take this mission and then find another planet to fly towards. All right, so goggles, Calamari, Grave Digger, Frost, Pointer, and Tank. So we're probably not going to bring the Striker then. Uh, all right. So we might need to wait one day for frost. Let's let's go take a look at all of our stuff. All right, so we got vampire and the fire bee. Fire starter is T Bone. No, he's in the commando. Okay, T Bone takes the commando. Uh, Finrear is Texas. Yep, and Crow is the fire starter. Beach ball waiting on his swordsman and bang with the warrior. All right, so we need to wait. Uh, unfortunately, one one day for frost. Yep, right, one day. There we go. Uh, and we need to run through, to see if anybody has Our some copy. level ups. Good to go. Calamari can get some guts. Crow, Frost, Goggles, Grave Digger. Oh, what this little black there. Uh, we can get some tactics or guts. I think we need the higher tactics. The sensor rolls can kill us on our accuracy. Tank could get some guts. He's going up for the uh, Phantom of Mobility Expert, I think. Yeah, more injury resistant is good for if we lose a mech or a vehicle and we need to recover from that. All right, so let's hop into this uh, blackout mission. We'll stay with the basic payout or yeah, you know, we'll stay with basic power. We'll bump our funds up because we're about to drop a whole bunch of money onto uh, the what's it called? We're gonna bring the striker though, I think, and the warrior. No, we'll bring the finner. Wait, it's a blackout. We have to go from place to place. We're gonna bring the striker. The finner is just too slow for something like this. All right, fire starter, fire B, commando. Uh, Crow is Firestarter, T-Bone is Commando, Vampire is Fire Bean, and everybody else is where they should be. Okay, he's one off a of scout for the Striker, which would give him plus one probe and extra vision sensors. He can get a bunch of evasion which he'll need if he's going to survive any higher skill missions. What's his next thing? Careful aim at 40. Yeah, that's not that great. And then you are scout and hold down your way out from that. You're still nine missions away from the missile boat. Okay. And you are just a veteran or your warrior, okay. What can you get? You can get Anarchist. Flamer and Machine Gun Accuracy and Evasion Ignore. I don't even think we have a Flamer or a Machine Gun on this guy right now. Yeah, he's all lasers and rockets. All right, well, let's dive in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
that uh, little warning is becoming so annoying. I'm trying to get this mission started here. You keep telling me I don't have enough firepower. It's like, I know what I'm bringing. I know you are. Probably he says this every time. You know, it still annoys me every time I, I do one of these missions that I get the little pop-up. May I ask the, uh, the modders if there's a way to uh, turn off that type of warning in the... Um, like make a setting where that warning turns off. Just wrap that little thing in a conditional that says, hey, if we don't want a warning about our job size, don't give us a warning. Maybe it saves people, but I doubt it. Because after a little while, you just stop seeing it. And you just click right through. All right, in witness and protection of the conquista system, these people don't like us very much because we just helped the word of Blake read them, but they're like, oh, these guys are in the system. We'll hire them to hit this blackout. All right. Come on. Load on up. Frozen just a little bit. I was speaking, I, I may have mentioned this in a previous video, but I was reading a bit about uh, the optimization for this game to speed, speed it up, and they recommend using a page file on your hard drive one and a half times the size of your memory because the game like just dumps everything to the page file every so often or something like that. Like two main settlements, do a sweep to get more info. Alright, rain will help with heat sinking. So let's see, so we need to run up here. This might be the kind of map where they do a little ambush in the uh, in the first part of the mission. So we'll go ahead and keep everybody together. That is something that uh, bit me on one of the other blackout missions I've done is I was like, oh, well, I'll just head everybody except for two people over to location number two because nothing normally happens at location number one. And then they went and had location number one be an ambush. So I had to like run everybody back. And I still had to go to location number two to deal with a secondary little fight. That was, that was the warrior, okay. Let's see what happens. Not going down with a fight, saw what you did, and I'll let the whole world know at the trial. Uh, recorded message, and the turrets spin up and attack us. Uh, but we can't do anything about it per se yet. Mm -hmm. Alright, so just get into the trees for now. We're going to have to blast all these turrets prior to... Uh, Alright, so let's come over here and knock out Order this received. shredder turret. Uh, yeah, give it to business. Good hit from the fire bee. Alright, crow, come over. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get shot in the back too bad by these other turrets. I do not the tag barrage. Ah, he's still alive. He didn't expect not. All what right. can I do for you? Commando, finish off this turret. Yeah, survive the trap. This is the kind of nonsense I was talking about. Alright, one turret down. Bang. And... Yeah, well, let's go get into cover. 
Let's see what other kind of turrets we're facing here. Three missile, one ballistic, and two energy. All right. I'm going to assume three missile is the biggest threat. But one ballistic might be. It might be something stupid like a uh, like Gauss rifle or something. Hopefully it's just like an AC-2. Baiting some shots with the striker as we go and finish off this one. Alright, so now just two energy, hard points, and yes, yeah, two medium lasers from this turret. And we'll see what this other one is. Oh, he does not have... He does not have uh, dead fire missiles for his LRM-10, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, what's our other head chance? 33%. Okay. Technically, we could try and... What the... Ninety damage and destroyed the engine. Standing by. Well, I think we just found out who the biggest threat on the battlefield is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Is that an AC twenty? Commander. Uh stand and fire. Alright, I think we just lost our, our first mech of the uh, game, or maybe one of our first pilots, I can't remember. I know we lost our vehicle early on, but we probably just lost the uh, the fire starter there to a single shot in the back. That was a lot of our firepower we were going to be bringing to the next, uh, next thing. Uh, okay, lesson learned. Don't leave your back pointed towards a turret. Alright, he's still not destroyed. All right, 25 armor damage on the striker isn't terrible. Losing the, the fire starter is huge. Huge problem. Uh, hopefully we'll find a good replacement for him. Alright. Pain that was. Yeah, it was big pain. Couldn't even trace location of the witnesses. It was just recording. Alright. So the guy we're supposed to protect is done killed Copy that. our fire starter. Affirmative pilot with his stupid trap. Alright, so let's keep all these grouped together. The uh, dervish is... I might have to just have everybody else wait like one or two turns for the dervish to catch up. Uh, where's Frost? Uh, he's close enough. We'll just do a short move. Right, Commander. Uh, you can brace. Because you move pretty fast as it is. You've no you may have noticed uh, a few times that VTOLs and Hovercraft 2 sort of have a minimum move that they have to go. It's sort of like uh, airborne momentum. They can't just go a short distance. All right. Let's get to the trees here. Uh, you can brace one more time. Yeah, our uh, fire starter just got one shot in the back. Straight to the, straight through, crit to the engine. Real, real unlucky. Uh, we're 
gonna go ahead and fly the chopper in and see if it triggers anything or if we have to actually finish our turn. It does trigger, okay. Uh, conquista settlement, Eric Line forced him to offer aid and support. Uh, watch to burn my weapon's son, do the same in the whole town, they want to do the same here. Incoming leopard, they'll be on you in moments. Okay. There's the enemy Capellans, Gillian, Owens, Owens, Command Van. Okay. Well, this is a bit unfortunate. I mean, sort of fortunate they're on the other side of the thing, but a bit unfortunate that our dervish is so far away. We're gonna get our striker up into cover. Okay, Frost. You know what? You haven't had your ECM active this whole time. Uh, if we come here, what's your... Oh, we don't have good visuals. 29%. 16, 32, 29, 23. Shh. Oh, it probably needs to go. So they probably you know, 38. All right, we have to go after the Owens. It only three hits. Not great. Not great. All right, we're gonna come around. We're not gonna have good shots with the Dervish here, but we are going to go ahead and. Probably take them in. Oh, that's under 10%. We're not gonna shoot. It's not worth it. Uh, I'm gonna go as far and as fast as we can. Alright, max 10 evasion it appears. Let's stay out of the jam field, although that might be a friendly ECM protection field. 15% seems like our best hit chance. That's fine. A few light hits. The command van is jammed. It's doing some jamming. Okay. We want to get up and squish that. Commander? Um, close distance. On my way. Try and knock this command van out. It's 65, yeah, it doesn't have a lot of armor, but it's, it's 35 damage. But it's got a ECM field that's gonna be affecting all of our firepower, all of our accuracy. The one E, I believe. Gonna give it a kick right in the front. I think the one E might have the uh, tag barrage laser on the Owens models. Alright, missed. Throw the rockets at it. Well, that was a decent hit. Almost 100 damage. We had 65 armor on the phone, which means we must have done some damage to the sides. I think that command bunker fired, yeah, AMS to protect us from three missiles, and we still took a big hit on the, uh... Oh, yeah, you can go ahead and shoot the building. Don't care about that. Well, that's a long-range flamethrower. Chaff countermeasures. Just don't shoot me in the back. That's what I'm asking from the turrets. Good to go. All right, let's give this vehicle a good Moving kick. And missed. 24 structure damage. Yes. All right. Man van is down, which means our Waiting 
Um, ECM jamming is no more. Okay, dead fire is much better. Commander. Let's see, we can give this little guy a kick. But I don't think we want to do that, actually. I think we want to run around here. And shoot at him. Heading out. Keep up the uh, the pressure on their large damage source. Okay. Uh, we're gonna fly over and shoot this one in the back. Not a great hit chance, but there's not a lot of enemies, so we'll... Oh, good hit with that LRM-10. Ouch. 60, 70, five, 70 damage. And the AMS is protecting us. Not ideal. Commandos... I feel like I always get hit heavy yeah, with commander. commandos. Alright. Should be a decent hit chance on this guy. Oh, he's max range. How about him? Oh, similar hit chance. But I think this is slightly better. Both the Owens, I think, have the tag lasers. Oh yeah, Crow is dead. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa! The turret took 200 points of charge damage from the Galleon? That's ridiculous. Going to get an artillery barrage. Ready for orders. Move the dervish up. C3 network. Oh, nice. That's a solid hit that we want to take. Oh, through the structure. Oh, got a lot of his weapons down. A lot of his weapons down. What is he missing? His left arm. Oh, only one? I thought I saw more than one. Alright, so only one weapon down. This should do quite a bit, though. Uh, yep, finished him off. Alright, Owen's one arm down. Close in LRM 10 is not gonna have the best hit chance. But the SRM 4 will have a really oh. Target moved plus five. And we're inside the minimum range, yeah. Alright. Still 30 damage to the rear armor. Waiting for orders. Shoot this guy in the back. I probably should have checked. He's probably got weak side armor right now, and his back armor is probably. Yeah, I probably just shot him. Shot him in the side would have been better. Oh, there it goes. And the Empire can step over here. Oh, only the rockets. Alright. Yeah, not much in the way of jump jets. We'll just sprint around and set up for next turn. Mines. Don't know if those are sensor mines or regular mines. Let's see. Sensor mines. Trying to shoot down our new warrior. 
Hanging in there. Even with ten evasion, we still get it with three, four, five, six, seven missiles. Might want to just take him out of there so we don't lose two units. There's work to do. Receiving you. Go up the hill. We've got a decent hit chance. Dead fire is still better. Go ahead and throw vigilance on. And fire on the side. Somehow we hit our chopper. Because he's like right under him, I guess. It's ridiculous. Alright, close distance. Turn on our field command ability. And open up. Locking in all weapon systems. Again, we shot the chopper. Alright, we need to get him out of there. I was lucky that time. He moves on 11 though. Oh, but before the Owens, that's Commander? nice. Alright, spent up. Double Close time. distance. Yeah, we're gonna run the chopper out of there uh, just as soon as it's his turn. Hopefully, none of our SRM4s coach. If we shoot down our own chopper because of friendly fire, I'm just gonna laugh. Uh, sure. Firing. Wow, one hit out of all that. Commander. Yeah, right side's a little weak. Uh, we'll go ahead and sprint away. Presenting the back and the left. Don't want him to shoot our chopper down. Alright. Enemy turn, comes over the hill, or no, he's running away, okay. More sensor mines. We can do this, let's go. Uh, sure, let's go run up the hill, Moving fast. chase down this Owens who is Understandably running away now that he's like, oh, we're gonna attack this base where this guy is. And there's an entire lance of enemy units that wasn't supposed to be there. Yep, so over 10%, and he's the last enemy remaining. We'll go ahead and take the shot. No hits out of 10 or more is disappointing. Heading out. Let's expect at least one hit. Alright, so we're firing 35 shots at a roughly 10% chance. Should get three hits. Got it. If the numbers are fair. We got four hits. Hey. Kind of makes up for the missed shots. Whoops. Yes, Commander. From the previous salvo. Understood. Moving back. Is he glowing red because he's tagged I still? Uh, we want to present the left side's full armor. So we'll pull up to here. Present the left. Confirm. Shoot him in the back. Fifty percent. Affirmative. Not bad. Only three hits out of 50%. Sometimes these odds just... Tagged us and got two pulse lights in our hits. That weren't much. That weren't much. Who wrote the script for these audios? Come on, mech warriors. It's go time. All right, go time, huh? Go time, but you can't quite get in visual range. He moves at nine, which is good because, whoops. There we go. 
Just trying to get, ooh, 80% with the dead fires. Alright. That's a solid hit. Alright. Better make sure, because we lost one of our... Lost one of our mech warriors. That's uh, Anna or Firestar. That's very unfortunate. Maybe we'll get a uh, Owens out of the deal. I guess we learned our lesson. I wasn't expecting that turret to have like an AC-20 or whatever hit us in the back like that. Alright, made a million sea bills. Yep, crows killed in action. Firestarter might be completely lost. Good experience on the other guys. Alright, so what do we have? Owens 1E, e, 1R. It did have an AC-20. Okay. So it hit us in the back with an AC-20 and killed us instantly. Um, what do we want to take? Probably uh, improved MRM ammo. I think we have an MRM launcher. Go ahead and take... Indo steel and piece of the Owens. Oh, so what's the difference in the one R and the one E? So upgrade of the Jenner. Cavalry mech designate targets for bombardment. Beagle probe and C3 slave. And the one E is Omni mech upgrade. Uh, okay. Oh wait, that's upgrade to four, four, and eight jump jets. As eight potential Omni mech shots. Okay, so I think we would want the one R if we were taking anything. Okay, so we got a piece of command van, galleon, three total pieces of the Owens. We got a extended range beacon clan and standard fusion engine. All right. So let's see what it has to say about the fire starter and about the pilots. Alas, poor crow. That AC-20 took your life. One, one rear hit to the center torso was all it took. Confirm. Three mechs damage, 109,000 in eight days for the repairs. Okay, so the so fire starter was recoverable then. Yeah, alright, let's swap this around. Uh, Ostwar comes up. Oh, there. Uh, Dervish didn't take any shots. Sentinel, uh, Whitworth, and the Swordsman. We'll put all the, the little guys down to the bottom. All right. Uh, is there anything worth else worth doing here? Anything in the store that we want? Do you have any AC-5s? We have one. Uh, we'll just buy some... New weapon systems available. Anti-missile systems, uh, eye rockets, we have two SRM-6s, bolt-on UAV compartment. You know what? We're going to try this. We've got some money. New equipment available. SRM dead fire. Do we have any of these? We have zero. We'll buy three. New All right. Available. Commander. So we've lost a guy. Do we replace him? I don't know. Nine days of fighting starts, and it's twenty-two days of travel. 
24 to 6. Yeah, that's not going to last long. 21 days until the fighting starts. 18 days of travel. We might... Oh, but that's forced. Yeah, that's a bit more difficult than we're trying to go for. Uh, any of these reasonable? Two skulls. 14 days until the fighting starts. Uh, yeah, not really what we're looking for. Uh, you know what? We... Yeah, let's see. Okay. 10 days until fighting starts. 28 days of travel. Half skull planet. Uh, we're just going to travel here. Real quick, just to see if we can catch part of this flare up, because it's a half skull. And we've got a lot of repairs and whatnot to do on the way there. Our right, mission shop is complete. Now, we may. I know we said, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do this. What's this? One day. Okay. That takes one day to upgrade. Big purchase. That work order is complete, boss. Alright, So that gave us... Enables Leopard providing additional drop capacity, increases allowed drop size by two battle armor only slots. And so now we can give it the drop A and allow the drop size by one slot over six it's days. It'll Oops. Bit, but we'll get it done. Okay. Upgrade communications networks. All right, so let's, uh, oops. Uh, just get a power spike in the med bay. Must find something. Uh, we will power down to replace the relay. Morale decreased by five. Fantastic. That's a huge bump for, like, hey, you guys could die if we don't do this. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. All right, our monthly costs are closing in on a million sea bills right now, so we definitely need to uh, start making some money. All right, I hate it when it does this. It does the repairs, but doesn't complete them. All right, fix that. Now, is there anything we can do to improve this mech while we're looking at it? All right, it's got the LRM-15. It's got four lasers. Our heat efficiency is negative three heat. We've got a large laser, three mediums. All of our hard points are filled in. We could make one of these an extended range or make an extended range clam that really bumps our total heat small heavy laser clan star developed heavy lasers deal with more damage all right so it's a short range Here gets extended range PPC. Yeah, I don't know. We could put a support weapon or something on it. All right, we have the Gauss rifle. Okay. Confirm. Takes zero days. What do we want to put the Gauss rifle on? Swordsman, maybe? Yeah, neither of our heavies have... Uh, do we have Gauss Rifle Ammo? We don't. Oh. That'll put a damper on our plans. But we could... Oh, you know what? That's what this needs. The... not the Ostwar, the Ostal. 
Needs a nice UAV compartment. Specialist equipment goes there. And then we have. Uh, do we have a UAV we can throw in there? Or no? Have we not picked any up? Does that count as ammo or something? Doesn't. Where are the UAVs? I guess we don't have any. So maybe we don't make that just yet. Or it might actually come with one by default. Carries a battle armor, LR5 sensor ping. Oh, actually, so yeah, it does come with one by default. Takes our overall um, firepower down, but I think it will increase our accuracy. Yes, sensor ping. Nice. Yeah, we'll throw that in there. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. All right, now you. Can we? Prove you. You have heavy ferrofibrous armor. I'll give you endo steel. And then swap one of your. Oh, we only have our fives and twenties. Ooh, but we could give you a tag laser and bump your armor the rest of the way up. Maybe give you more chip jets. Let's see, so you tag. Yeah, we don't want you getting shot in the back like the... Uh... Yeah, let me give you two more jump jets maybe. Scan sensors plus 33% sensor range and strength one active probe. Can we do that? Nope, can't do that. Okay. Never mind for that. Oh, uh, did we want to give you any. Five things a case. I think we need to sell the case. Or we could probably. Yeah, okay. Uh, Sentinel, Mando, Whitworth, anything we could do for you? Uh, you have the chaff countermeasures and advanced optics. Probably switch this to bolt on AMS. And. Anything else? Heat efficiency is flat. Get a 160 engine core. What if we made you a little faster? Could we give you a 180 and that make a difference? A 46. Can we make you a 57? 47. What's a 200 do? 200 makes you a 5.7. We could take two of these out and take out the jump jets. And you're still a half done over. Uh, what else could we do to drop your weight? Um, hmm. Swap this, oh, swap this medium laser for the heavy clan small laser. Heat efficiency is down just a touch. 
So your long range damage is down, but your medium range damage is fine and your speed is up. Uh, I think I like this. Whitworth sent pretty on the damage. Sentinel. Swordsman. Do we want to. Let's see, we've got the Ultra AC5 clan and the AC5 Myrmidon, two ultralight rotary rifles. Do we get any periphery rifle ammo? Heavy, medium, medium, no we didn't. Okay. So you know what we're actually going to do? Uh, we're going to come back in here. I know this is getting a bit long here on the uh, refits. We'll go and give our Sentinel the Clan AC5 and see what that does for us. So this is 7 tons versus the 9 tons. So that's going to give us 2 tons to work with. So we could get another ton of Ultra AC5 ammo. Oh, we got a half ton. Alright, so we throw another half ton in. So we've got more shots. We could swap our laser hard point over here to a uh, medium laser over a small laser. And it still gives us a ton to work with. And we're at negative 12 heat. Um, we could throw a machine gun on. We could drop our extra half ton of auto cannon, throw an SRM 2 with a half ton of SRM ammo. Through a mortar. Uh, oh no, wait, that's five tons of grenade launcher. Uh, give on direct fire. It's one ton. Do we have like a half ton of mortar ammo or something? Uh, single ton of mortar ammo. A half ton of thumper ammo. Okay. Light rifle, heavy rifle. Do we just... What can we do here? For this thing, all right, this is 0.25. No, we only have the two auto cannon slots. This is one ton. Dual machine gun for clearing out. Uh, do we just do? Yeah, maybe we just do the uh, half ton of SRM ammo and the SRM two, or we take the medium laser onto the SRM four, but then we're a hundred percent ammo reliant. That, yeah, and that doesn't give us any more damage. Okay. So we're bumping our damage up for 27, 195, and 227. A little more heat coming off this, but it's a lot lighter. And, yeah. Okay. I like where we're going with this. Now we've got the medium laser, the small laser, and the extra SRM2. And we've got the same damage from the auto cannon at the same time. Why is our armor off here? Let's do that. Yeah, okay. Uh, in fact, we could do this right here because that arm has no weapons in it. Do we have any handheld weapons? No, we're all out of, we've maxed out our carry capacity anyway. All right. right. Yep, this is just a big old refit. All right, light rifle, rocket, two medium lasers. Uh, we could try 
What's this? Sorry, plus one accuracy. Eight tons. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Our rifleman, or I mean our swordsman is kind of a brawler. Instead of, the, do we want to keep the rockets? It's one ton, 15 rockets that do six damage each. It's like 90 damage, for, but up to one shot. How much is the rocket? 20, one and a half. Hmm. Use a six nine. All right, so let's go over this again. So it's three, four, five, and we could that's five by itself. Okay, for a medium rifle. The Ultra AC-5 is nine tons. Even if we pulled all of the weapons out, we couldn't get the Ultra AC-5 in here. Regular AC-5 is eight tons. Wow, okay. Yeah, this might just be our best setup. Uh, SRM-2. Is there a way to do that? Don't think so. I don't know that there's any more equipment we could get into this. Oh. We can give it ferrofibrous armor and give ourselves some more space to work with. Let's get reinforced structure. I don't think we have any more endo steel though. Yeah, we don't. Okay. So, that actually does change things. So, we could now take that rocket launcher out. This is two and some tons to work with. What if we just went with. Uh, medium rifle over the light rifle. Or even the, yeah, that's too much. All right, so we can take the rockets off, and put a medium rifle in. So, it's nine shots versus 18. Oh, that's the ultra light rotary rifle. Never mind. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, you know what we could do? So it's seven, seven, seven. Uh, we could drop a PPC in. Let's make him an energy guy, but his firepower goes way down. Yeah, I think we leave him as is for now. Wolverine. Do we have any upgrades we can do for him? He's got the heavy rifle in the arm. His heat efficiency is down. He has the heavy heat sink kit. But we could change him to a standard bit of SRM ammo and give him another double heat sink so that he is now heat negative. And he's got 200 damage. He's getting, he's not carrying anything. Uh, how much heat negative is he? Four, okay. So we can now give him uh, four ton tandem rockets and the chaff countermeasures. Uh, any bonus 
sensors or anything to give him. No, I don't think there is. This is a big two slot thing that's gonna take up somebody's pilot compartment. All right, so he is getting All ready. Right. I'll let you know when that's done. Uh, fire starter can go back to the bottom of the queue. I'll take the Wolverine up to the top. Yeah, we like that. Commando. Heavy industrial armor. Fire bee. So we could make the fire bee a little better. We could give him fair fibrous, which would free up about a ton. We could swap one of these SRM2s to an SRM4 or give him more ammo. Yeah, so we could do that right there, and that, and then make him get a 210. Oh, right, did we bump his engine up? Because he's a 6.9 now. Okay. So we just give him a, another... We can make one of these SRM6 over an SRM4. There we go. If we just took that out and put that there. And then give him some dead fire ammo. Uh, over one of these bins of regular ammo. That should make him a lot more deadly. We take out that jump jet and bump his armor the rest of the way up. Then what do we do with the, he's under ton by a little bit. Uh, we could probably do another half ton of regular SRM ammo and then take the armor back down. Uh, like this. Yeah, I think that's good. So his long range firepower is down for some reason, but his medium range is, he's hit hard now. Logged and noted. Okay, I think that's all the refits we're gonna do for this episode. Let's just try and get to our destination in one piece. Hey Bob, we've just completed those upgrades. Uh, we need to keep a million in the bank. All right. This drop size, no scrap, be constructed bones, gain through the next. We're going to need to buy several complex components. 400,000, seven days. What's this? 220, increase allowed, drop size by one vehicle slot. So, okay. Right. Let's go. We're just getting this new leopard up and going. Job's done. We still have 10 days of travel. Do we want to do any more? Okay, we're going to have to fix this. Uh, let's see. All right, finish repairing all that. We'll put an engine core back in. 175, huh? And then a medium laser and our engine. All right, we've got a 170. Uh, four seven. I guess that'll have to do. Or can we do a one eighty? Nope. One seventy it is. And then we need a basic uh, fusion engine. And we're missing. Wait. If we do that, can we do the one eighty now? Yep. And we still get two tons to work with because the laser was two tons. Okay. Let's see, uh, what are we, negative 15 heat, extended range, medium, there, and you go there, okay? Oh wait, we can still get 
one more, but that's all our hard points. Uh, and it's got an attack barrage on it. Literally cannot put anything else in here. We need something heavier. Um, what can we do? What can we do? I really don't think there's anything we can do other than give it like more jump jets or a bigger engine, maybe. I don't think more armor is really the answer. We could give it to another heat sink. Yeah, we're gonna do a little more heat sink to keep it down to kind of neutral. Uh, one in the leg. There we go. Negative three heat. All right. Big payout for that one. Right. I'll get it. Uh, yep. That's. We're just gonna wait for the arrival at the new location. And that will be the end of the episode. We may do one more engineering upgrade. I wrapped up that. Those upgrades yep, yep, you asked for yep. are awesome. All right. Uh, increase one more vehicle slot. How much is that? 257,000. Max drop tonnage by 50. Uh, yeah, we'll take that one. Six days. All right. We're just getting a second uh, dropship. Right. Engineering. Hey boss, nice to see you. What do we need? Do we have? Ooh, that's like all our money. Uh, Two fifty-seven, four forty-one, six twenty-eight, five twenty-nine. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the train mapping the sensors. Because that's done. cheap. And we want to go ahead and get where we're going and take a we'll mission. Currently, Davian will attack it soon. All right, that's exactly what we want to see. We will take a look at that and hop into a new flare up next time. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below if you thought I could have done some of those refits better, or if you think uh, maybe I should have been a little smarter about leaving the fire starters back pointed at a turret with an unknown ballistic weapon. And we'll see you next time.